Ooh, what's going on ladies and gentlemen, Highlander here, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Sun and Moon, episode 15! We're already 15 episodes in, oh my goodness, it is crazy. Uh, last episode guys, we finished our second trial, and uh, Lana gave us the Waterium, or what? yeah, Waterium Z-Stone, so we can now use the Water Z-Moves, which is exciting and all. If I had a Water-type Pokemon, which I do not at the moment, um... Oh, we gotta go put Wishy Washy back in the PC. But uh, that's essentially what happened last time. The, uh, she told us to go and head towards the next area, um, which is the uh, volcano or something. They said something about a volcano. I don't, I don't remember everything. You can't expect me to remember everything, guys, okay? Why don't you remember yourself? Why do I have to keep reminding you at the beginning of every episode? <laughs> All right, so we went and we healed up our Pokemon really fast. Um, what did he want? Feebas. I'm gonna come back and do those later. I don't want to do those right now. I want to go and head up here to the next area. Oh my goodness, guys. I just went and ate dinner and I had cinnamon rolls and my belly is just full. So if I make some burping sounds, I apologize. But I feel very content with myself right now, so... Um, that's all that matters, right? Ugh, alright, so we're at, back at Paniola Ranch. Um, we're gonna show these Sudowoodo that we have the Waterian Z-Stone. And they're gonna be like, ah! Run away! Retreat! Retreat! And then they're gonna run. Look at them. They even had running animations. That's pretty stylish. The strange trees did not attack you, but they went running off towards the Battle Royale Dome? the heck is that? Ha <laughs> ha! The Sudowoodo were off like a flash once they were reminded of that Z-Power. Thanks! Now everyone can use the road again. Here's a little something in return for you. The Mystic Water. Hey! Thanks so much, kid. I wonder if maybe those Sudowoodo ran off to the Battle Royale Dome to try and get stronger. You know about the Battle Royale Dome, don't right? That's the place where you enter Battle Royales. Well, thank you, kid. Thank you for telling me that. It's not like I could figure that out on my own. Alright, so here's the sign. AKA Straight Street. Well, that is just, um, ass assuming. When you speak of the youngest Anthony, I am the only one in the Alola region. So there's more than one Anthony? Well, I would assume, considering Anthony is a pretty common name. And, uh, saying that you're the youngest Anthony, I don't know. Maybe he's crazy. <laughs> Nico, come on now, take on this Magby, you can do this. This is a mon just for you. So, I went and I looked up the uh, the, the water type that I'm going to be using. Um, I looked up where I could catch it, and that's going to be on Route 9. So once we get to Route 9, we can catch our next uh, party member. I'm gonna have to have someone trade me the Alolan Vulpix. I don't know who though, and it's really frustrating. I'm like, Ugh, I need to find someone to trade it to me because I'm going to be using it in this Let's Play. And none of you can stop me. Because Alolan Bull picks his bay, and it makes me upset that I picked the version that didn't have it in it. Because <laughs> I already had the graphics done, and I didn't know there were exclusives, and... Anyway, it's a long story of sadness and despair. Did someone say despair? So we're gonna just gonna keep throwing rocks at young Donald Trump. To make ourselves feel better. And there we go. Done is done. And take care of... Armand as well. You beat me! The only one like me in Alola, but you're so great! Thank you. I am often called great by many people. And by many people, I mean my mom. And sometimes my mom won't even say it, so, you know, it's all up into interpretation. So I have been playing a lot with my Pokemon in Pokemon Refresh um, off screen. Just so uh, I can get some uh, some of that affection. That's the word. Some of the affection up. Because I want... They see you all over the place. The, the, the trainer line is like... You never know. But um, I want to get that affection up. Because... <laughs> he has my name. Um, it, it's really helpful in battle in case you guys don't know. And it's kind of fun playing with your Pokemon. I'm not going to lie. What was that? Why did Nico move around like that? 
some suspicion, I think. All right, so Pseudo Widow is a rock type. We're a rock type too, but we have Bite. And Bite, I think, is neutral. It is. But he also has Flail. Flail, however, is not neutral, and we resist it. So we should be good continuing to Bite. I need to switch the Sea Stone, uh, the normal Sea Stone, to... Stop it. I need to switch to normal Z Stone to Nico, so he can get a little bit use of that. Let's send in Rex. Rex hasn't seen battle in a bit. It's only been Pip and uh, Pip and um, Nico. The only ones that've been out. Uh, let's go for the Fire Fang. I mean, I know it's resisted, but freaking Rex, man, it's the strongest move. And we snag the burn. Let's go. Wait, what's he doing? Oh, you learned Fire Fang. That, that's that's kind of scary. Thinking about a uh, a pseudo wudo who knows Fire Fang. <laughs> uh, I'm just prefer not to think about that. So we're gonna lick it because it. Um, actually, I have no idea why we did that. I honestly don't know. We're just gonna go for Bite now because I want to see. Or I just want to use Bite. I just want to use Bite, so we're going to. Man, it kind of. I keep coming back and I keep recording more, and so like, at, at this mo at this moment in time, um, on YouTube I only have up to episode 11 uploaded. This is episode 15, and I keep, I keep coming back and recording more because I keep wanting to play, but like I have to restrain myself in uploading because I can't just upload everything at once because that's not very smart. Uh, because I need a series to hold me over until um. Our Pokemon hack that we're gonna play comes out next month. Which I need to get graphics done for. Shoot. I have a lot of graphics that needs to be done. Half of them I have going already. So I have Twitch and YouTube brand. Someone's doing a, uh, a, they're, they may, they, okay. <laughs> Slow down. We can think about this and we can talk. All right, so uh, I commissioned someone online to draw a, at, like, Anime style character, I guess you could say, um, of myself that I can use for Twitch and YouTube branding. Now, he sent me a uh, fantastic artist, by the way, and I'll, I, once it's finished, I will let you guys know who it was because, wow, he's incredible. Um, but he sent me some concept art. Sleep Talk TM88, nice. He sent me some concept art, concept art the other day and uh, was like, here, this is kind of what I saw because um, I sent him a bunch of reference pictures of myself and I was like, hey, this is how I want it to be done. And so he drew it and oh my goodness, guys, it is beautiful. It, like, I almost shed a few tears. Holy crap! Uh, that, it was Gladio and uh, Mudsdale's Evolution. Just kidding, it's Team Skull. What? Who is that? You there, trainer, can you come to my aid? <sighs> Over here. Yo, 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 don't go turning your backside on us! And you, you're that numbskull trainer from Mele Mele, yo! <laughs> These scoundrels are Pokemon thieves, and you're on familiar terms with them? Well, yeah, I know them. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> I should have said no, I don't know them. Yeah, that's right, you do. I'm Hapu. Life in the big city sure is something else. Pokemon thieves roam around, uh, roam about brazenly. <laughs> I leave that one to you. We're not thieves, yo. It's a legitimate business. <laughs> we got straight messed up in Mele Mele. Got excited to Akala. But we ain't going out like that. Chink. Ooh, it's time for some Team Skull battling. Let's do it. But, um... Yeah, I got really, really excited. It, it was... It's really cool. And it, and it was only like a quick sketch. And he was like, you know, this is... Is this right? Because he, he wanted me to confirm it before I, uh... He went ahead and did the actual art for it. So I cannot wait until that's finished. Um, and it'll be like a channel overhaul. And you, I'll show, I'll do like a little review of it on my, uh, on, on the channel. So, uh, be, be prepared for that in the upcoming few weeks. Uh, I, I hope a couple of weeks. It might be like upwards to a month, but we'll see. Um, not only that, I need to get our, uh, Pokemon Sun Twitch layout completed. Because we're going to be playing Pokemon Sun on Twitch. Uh, once I finish with Moon on YouTube, uh, we're going to be doing a lock, which I will not announce until we have the uh, graphics finished for it. 
Um, if you've been hanging out at our streams, you guys will know already what it is. With all these losses, we're gonna anger our bosses. These tears taste like salt, yo. It's all your fault, yo. <laughs> Mudgedale, shall we stomp these scoundrels? It'll be a mess to clean up afterwards, but I'm willing if you are. <laughs> Time for us to break, yo. Gotta tell y'all to peace out, yo. I'm not gonna keep telling you this, except when I keep telling you this. You better listen to what my homie says and drill it into that thick skull of yours. Seriously, you better not forget, numbskull. Guys, I love Team Skull. I freaking love Team Skull. You'll be fine getting home. Floon. I could be a voice actor for Drifloon. Floon. Glad to see the one. Uh, glad to see that one will get home on her own. I've got you to thank for that. Give me your name, trainer. Will, eh? That's a fine name. I like the way you handled yourself in battle. Mudsdale and I are always wandering all about Alola to try and achieve our goals, so perhaps we'll meet again someday. I am indebted to you for your aid, after all. Well, I don't know who this character is, and she... she kind of weirds me out. Ah, uh, yes. You might want to try your hand at the Battle Royale or two, Will. Mudsdale here thinks that you'll be well suited to it, given how strong you are. Well, thank you. And off she goes. Bye bye. So we gotta finish our uh, our sun layout, and then I have to get a um. I have to get graphics for our Pokemon hack that's coming out soon. So it's like, uh, it's a lot of stuff coming up, man. Oh, check out that Machamp balloon! Check out the Machamp balloon, though. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. It's like super like oh so swole but like fat at the same time I don't even know how to describe that let's uh, check in on the Pokemon Center and let's explore this town you can try to hammer opponents with a strong attack uh, you can try to hammer opponents with strong attacks from a Pokemon with a high attack stat but then what about when someone uses a move like protect to avoid your attacks well you just got to prepare for that my dude no one beats the deals at thrifty Mega Mart but there's got to be a reason why all this stuff is so cheap don't you think <laughs> Are you telling me that uh, it's illegally um, manufactured overseas at a uh, slave warehouse where children are uh, hired? Huh? Is that, is that what it's saying? I think that's what he's saying. Do you focus on honing your Pokemon's strong points when training? Or do you try to make sure that they can be a decent challenge to any kind of opponent? IDK, bro. IDK. Oh, you have a sparkling Z-Crystal. You cleared Lana's trial. Congratulations. Now you can purchase more items. <laughs> what is this more items to speak of? Honey. A sweet honey with a lush aroma that attracts wild Pokemon when it's used in tall grass, caves, or special trees. So there are honey trees in this game. And not only are there honey trees, there's also... Um, you can also use honey in the wild. That is interesting. I think I like that a lot better, though, because... Uh, if you guys will remember, back in the day... Hold on, seven? Yes, for fifteen. Um... Back in the day, friggin' uh, Platinum, where you had to like slather the trees with honey and then wait 24 hours, and it was just... Just terrible. TM Shop, what do you got for us? Hail, sunny day, rain, dance, and sandstorm. Ugh. I mean, I'm not set looking to set up any rain teams as of right now. Alright, so let's heal up, and then uh, let's exit the building and explore the rest of the town. Dum, dum, dum. Thank you for waiting. We restored your Pokemon full health. We hope to see you again. <laughs> All right, let's see what we can find in the town. Hello, kid. You know what? We won in we won in the battle royale. Yep, me and my partner here. See, Slowpoke is the best. Do you see that? Was that a Zygarde cute uh, cell? How do we get in? Pink nectar. What is that? Well, I know it's nectar and it's pink, but I want to know exactly what it is. A flower nectar obtained at the following shrubs, a flowering shrubs on ba Royal Avenue. It changes the form of certain species of Pokemon. So it's like an evolutionary item. Interesting. Who are you? The Oricorio are so cute as they pluck the flowers to get their nectar. Ah, that's who it's for. Though in battle, the move pluck will actually let your Pokemon eat any berry that the move's target might be holding. Oh, photo spot. Get that camera out! Time to take a picture. Of what? What Pokemon are we taking a picture of? 
The Oricorio? I don't see one. <gasps> Butterfree! <laughs> Bam, fantastic shots. You gotta be quiet though when you're taking pictures. Be very quiet. I'm hunting rabbits. Which one was the best? I like that shot a lot, but I feel like I'd get more views with this. I don't know. Or not views, uh, thumbs up. But I'm gonna use this one. Oh, snap! We got lots of comments on this one. New record for thumbs up. Nice. So we're now almost at 5,000. Um, I wonder what version 3 will do. Maybe clear up the image because it doesn't look very clear. Hello. Captain Malo is an amazing cook too, especially that Ma Malo special. It tastes, it's like a taste explosion in my mouth. I can't wait. All right. Um. Well, let's check out the, the fruit shop then. If it's really as good as they claim. I want a, uh, a malasada, you know? Oh, well, he fell asleep. <laughs> Wait, I recognize the, his character design. Who is he? Oh my goodness, I can't put my, my tongue on it. That black belt there, his focus is amazing. It's like he's tuned out the entire world. No, he's actually asleep. See my Sudowoodo? It's got a lax nature, so it loves sour mal uh, malasada. Well, I like sour stuff. I don't even know what a malasada is. Sour malasada and dry malasada. I think they've got, the, uh, got to be acquired tastes. Um, For takeout, a big malasada costs $3.50. Well, let's buy one. Let's buy the big one! Only wimps get the regular one. Our big malasadas are really big. Be sure to share it with your Pokemon. No, I'm gonna eat it myself. It is time. Come back again soon. Let's check out the item. Because I wonder if you can like use it multiple times since it's so big. Um, big malasada. Uh, fried, Alola region's local specialty fried bread. It can be used once to heal all the status ailment. Oh, what a waste. What a waste, but we do have some Z-Stones here. Um, that, wait. Wait a minute. You can have Pokemon hold multiple of the same Z-Stone. That is interesting. Huh. We need to remove the sea stone from Rex anyway. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. So how do we take it? No, how do I take the stone? How do I take the held item? <laughs> Held item. Take. Okay, there we go. But that's really interesting. Uh, I wonder uh, what that would mean in like in terms of competitive battling and stuff. There's some more nectar. Might as well grab it. Um, and let's head up north and uh, finally initiate that story stuff that's up here. It's Machamp. Oh, it's Gladian. I told you Gladian was there. I told you. <laughs> Why do I do this? Every time something brings me down, I end up coming right back here again. Come on, Noel. Let's go bury our sor sorrows. Let's go bury our sorrow in the crowd. Man, I already know that he's that kid that has, that ran away from his house. Like, there's no doubt in my mind that that's, that that's him. And I feel so bad for him. I'm like, come be my friend. The battle royale. It is an imitation we trainers have devised based on the battles that the four guardians of our islands like to part uh, part like to take part in to decide who is the strongest of them all. Uh, what about the other side? I didn't talk to this guy. There are Pokemon that love to eat the so-called garbage that humans throw away. Really proves that the thing's value depends on where you stand, doesn't it? Well, I mean, it also depends on, you know, what species you are. <laughs> so there's an Ultra Ball right over here, which is nice. Um, I don't think there's anything else. 
to grab over here. I mean, we could always get on Stoutland and try to find out if there's anything here. But that would take a lot of time, and uh, I just don't want to do that, you know? What's up? When you get your hands on a fishing rod for the first time, you just can't wait to go to the shore and search for a Pokemon, can you? It's amazing how one little item can totally change your life. Well, I mean, I've had a fishing rod for quite a while now, and I still haven't gone... It's a Zygarde Zell! And more Shadies. Freaking Shady is all over this game, man. Delibird. Um, Anything up here? Oh, this is a different route. What route is this? Route 7. Well, uh, I don't think we want to go up there just yet. Plus, we still didn't explore south of the city. Look at that Z-ring glittering on your left, left wrist. Now, that is an item to envy for sure. I can't help but admire anyone, anyone wearing one. You can see the QR code for any Pokemon you've caught in the Pokedex, did you know? You usually say, did you know first. <laughs> I was watching Shady's uh, playthrough, though, of Moon, and he, he found the, the Delibird that was like, flap! And he's like, flap, flaps my homeboy. <laughs> it was really funny. You got to drive safe and watch out for Pokemon that might leap out at you. And children. Whoa, a trainer! Are you going to do Battle Royale? Every day, my dude. Now, that's creepy. Why is there a Hypno standing right outside the shop? You can really get a sense for a person's nature but from the way they throw their Pokeballs. Really? <laughs> I guess. But why is there a creepy Hypno chilling right out, here, right out here? I mean, I know Hypno leads children into the forest and never they never come back. And he's laughing. <laughs> Nintendo, what are you doing? You can't just have child kidnappers. Why are there Hypno in here too? Welcome to Thrifty Mega Mart, where all sales are explosive. Here, have a special discount coupon. It can only be used at our store. You grab the discount coupon eagerly. <laughs> Just show that discount coupon to the check checkout staff when you're ringing up at the register. Our store purses, <laughs> our store purses, our store pursues value over all else. Discount coupons are right up our alley. Now, please shop till you drop, or at least until you're completely out of savings. Thanks. <laughs> ah, okay. I mean, this actually looks like a grocery store, which is kind of cool. Step right up, check it out. Free samples of our hottest new foods. Today, we have fresh tomato berries straight from the Kanto region. Mmm, tomato berries. Don't be shy. They're here for the taking. They're tasty, aren't they? Fresh and direct from the fields. Are they? Are you sure they weren't frozen when they were on their way to the... To, uh... From... To Alola from Kanto on the boat? <laughs> There's something written on his chest. I'm just a poor Hypno, share some love. The eerie Hypno keeps staring at you. What is this? Why do I have to give money to the Hypno? Fine, have a hundred. What the heck? It's so creepy. I'm not slacking off or anything. I'm working really right now. Really, I am. Though when a Slowpoke or Slowbro gets to use Slack Off, it does restore half of his HP. Oh, nice uh, segue. Okay, that bear thing scares me. Beware. This little fellow helps me stock the shelves. Can I exit the back? No. Oh my gosh, the store is so big. What is this? I tried to travel on, on the cheap. I try to travel on the cheap as much as I can. When I find a supermarket like this, I just can't help feeling like I hit the jackpot. My house is overrun with kids and Pokemon, so this is a this place is a blessing for my wallet. Uh, I can understand that. The original Thrifty Mega Mart was actually on another island, but it got moved here. Why? Was there a fire? Hey, you're a trial goer, right? Look at my Pokemon. <laughs> Drifloon, you saved on Route 6. Hey! Hey! The Drifloon gave us a lemonade! My Drifloon is so strong that I can just drift along without ever having to worry. You know, Drifloon, see, Drifloon gave me a lemonade where a Hypno is like, give me money. And I'm like, no. People come here to buy snacks to tide them over while they watch the matches in the Battle Royale Dome. Oh, it's lots of snacks and stuff, huh? Shoot, did I add things up wrong? I don't have enough for this, not even close. Well, if you asked me for some money, I would have given it to you. When there's a deal, I always buy too much. I just don't know how to deal with deals. Ha ha ha. I get it. Uh, you look like a trainer, but I can tell you're just still just getting started. If you can become the strongest trainer in all of Alola, why don't you come talk to me again? Oh, interesting. All right, then. We'll have to come back. 
Welcome to the Thrifty Mega Mart, where the sales are explosive. What would you like to do? Bye. So we have Pokeballs, Great Balls, Heal Balls, Nest Balls, and Timer Balls. What about you, sir? What do you sell? So you sell actual regular items, but they're weak. You, you sell weak sauce items, my dude. What the heck? What about you? What are you selling? TMs? Hold on! Hold the phone! An ornament depicting a mysterious Pokemon that has been venerated as a guardian deity for an extremely long time in the Lola region. This item was in, it was an X and Y. This is the item for X and Y. Let's buy it. It has to be important somehow. Oh, you have a discount coupon. Then allow me to take a special fifteen hundred dollars. You can reuse your discount coupon as many times as you'd like until you leave the shop. So I hope you use it again. <laughs> um, so they're basically telling me to buy everything right now. Our store pursues. Oh, okay. We, that's just the other entrance. Well, I guess if we're getting a discount, we might as well buy Pokeballs, right? Um, I want Nest Balls. Let's buy ten of those. That's sick. It's half off. That's amazing. All right, let's buy 10 timer balls as well. And then uh, 10 regular Pokeballs. And uh, five Great Balls. So we have, in total, 40-something Pokeballs. Excluding the Ultra Balls and the Dive Balls that we got now. We got the strange souvenir. I th that that is the same item from X and Y, isn't it? Like I'm a hundred percent sure that it is. That's so weird. That's so weird. Makes me angry that we still can't go back to Kalos. Hello, dude. You might not ever be royalty, but you might at least feel like you are if you take on the Battle Royale at the Battle Royale Dome. Haha. Uh -huh. All right then. Hello, my champ. Hello, John Cena. Don't sue me, please. All right. <laughs> Let's go in here and start this event. There's Gladio, or Gladian. His name's not Gladio, it's Gladian. So this is a four-way battle thing. Glad you could make it! Oh snap, it's the Luchador. It's Nacho Libre. <laughs> I'm here today, yeah, to spread the word. Oh yeah, about Battle Royale. They call me, wait, wait a minute. Uh-uh, no, this is, uh, this is Kukui. They call me the Master Royal! Woo woo woo! A what? The Master Royal! I'm here to teach you, oh yeah, about the battle format passed down in Alola for generations! Format pa- oh, the Pokemon Battle Royale! Woo! But Royal, what is the Battle Royale, you might ask? Four trainers! Four trainers, yeah, each pick three Pokemon, yeah, for one big poke <laughs> for one big Pokemon battle, oh yeah! When one trainer's team can't battle anymore, yeah, the battle royale will ends. Whichever trainer has taken out the most Pokemon, yeah, and he, and has the most Pokemon left, will emerge the winner. It's totally cookie. First, just give it a shot. Pick your Pokemon and let's do this. Dude, it's the Masked Royal. I want a battle, I want a battle. It's how. And I, I bet Gladian's gonna do that too. You there, come join in the fun. I'll be in the mix too, yeah. And we'll have a foursome. <laughs> Woo! Huh? Discovery, new experiences, adventure. It is all yours if you want it. It's time for a Pokemon Battle Royale. Ready, fight! I guess we're doing this now. <laughs> that is Kukui. I cannot believe he dressed up like a luchador. This guy. <laughs> we're in the Battle Royale Dome. The arena for Battle Royale. The dome is packed and filled with excitement. Today, in the left corner, we have... Now here come the contenders. This is really cool. In the green corner, we'll send out Nico. In the yellow corner, Trainer Howe send out Dartrix. In the red corner, Pro Wrestler The Royal sent out Rockruff. It's totally... It's totally him. Gladian sent out Team... Or a Type Null. The battle of y'all starts now. 
who will be the winner? Find out next time on Dragon Ball Z. Alright, so what do we do? Um, <laughs> I could go for sea power and totally go for uh, Dartrix. Oh shoot, but he is also part grass. Oh, okay, so we gotta we gotta be a wee bit more careful here. Oh, we only have Nico with us. Oh, that's not fair. I wasn't prepared for this. Uh, we're gonna go for the rock throw on Dartrix. Ooh, protect. That's a, actually a really solid move for this kind of thing. Nice. I use rock throw. Can we at least take half? No. Use it, use it on him. Yes. Oh, it hits everyone. Of course it was a crit on me. Why wouldn't it have been? All right, let's go for the Z power uh, breakneck blitz on Dartrix. We got to try to take this thing out. I got to win. I must be the winner. Ah, oh, come on, man. What you got to attack me for? No! Wow. How one? I feel betrayed. I feel betrayed. <laughs> they all got ganged up on me. So, what do you think? It's easy to have a fun time in with Battle Royale. You even have a shot at beating a real tough opponent this way, yeah? You were on fire during that battle. I hope you bring that fire with you and burn up my trial. Oh my goodness, this guy. The name's Kiawe, the fire captain. You can get to Wheela Volcano Park from Route 7. I'll be waiting on the peak. If you have a plan to see your island challenge through to the end, climb to the top with your strongest team. Oh, snap. So, Will, how? How are your trials going? I hope you and your Pokemon are working hard and having a blast. But, Mr. Masked Royal, how did you even know that we're doing our trials right now? Oh, I get it. Because of our amulets, huh? Well, I'm having a blast. But why are you here? Why would you even want to do a battle royale? I guess it's a fair question. Ah, oh, snap. He's about to get all emo on us. I can't tell you. Because it's so important right now. <laughs> because Noel and I have to make it on our own. And I don't ever want to forget that. Snap. Wow, you're just a ray of sunshine, huh? <laughs> I think you'd have a lot more fun if you just let everyone let yourself have a good time with everyone else. You could do a lot more together, too. Well, I don't know what this deal is, but I just thought the battle was plain fun. And that's why I like doing Battle Royales, and my Pokemon seem to like it too. Okay, can we just expose that this is Kukui? Where is he? Where is the Royal? I need to expose him. Ah, uh, he left. What a, what a bum. What a bum. Well, I don't know what his deal is, but I just thought the battle was plain fun. Oh, okay, you already talked to me about this. Um, so we'll talk to all these guys later uh, in the next episode, but that's going to be it for this episode So thank you guys so much for watching uh, if you enjoyed the episode then make sure that you smash that like button down below Because it does help support the channel also make sure that you answer your question or uh, that you leave a comment down below Telling me how you feel about the whole four or uh, All for one battle mode the battle royales. Are you guys do you guys like them or uh, are you against them and why? Uh, for me personally, I think they're really cool um but I feel like they, uh, the, the way that, or the wind condition, I guess, it's a little bit weird. Um, and I don't know, I'll have to experiment more with it before I can actually say for sure. But if you uh, are enjoying what you're watching, make sure that you hit that subscribe button as well. You'll be brought to my channel where you can watch more Pokemon related content, catch up on all the other 14 episodes of our Sun and Moon Let's Play, as well as watch our Fire Emblem Fates Birthright on Classic Mode Let's Play that's we're doing on the channel. So that's going to be it for today, and I'll see you in the next episode. Peace.